1051 Home of the Breakfast Club. Chris Brown in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, yes. In the flesh. <laughs> Y'all, this is the first time you're here to see yeah, me in this like, building. It's been a minute. Yeah. You're a dad now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. That's crazy to me. And hey, you, you remember me from being, what, 15? Yeah, 15, 16. I mean, you know what I mean? It yeah. happens, though. People grow up. It yeah, happens. Yeah, a change is good. Yeah, but Chris, she's wild cute. Oh, you. <laughs> like you did so thank good. You. I hope I, I'm. I hope they're my jeans. You know my jeans you, have. You did you know, okay. I mean, you right. did pretty great. <laughs> yeah. So tell me about that. Tell me about how that just because it, it wasn't something planned that just happened in your life. Now yeah. all of a sudden you're a dad. What does that do? How does that change you? I mean, well, you know, it, it changes me for the good. I think because I actually sit there and I, I think things through. Yeah. Back back then I used to be just a live wire. Uh, you know, I, I had the effort mentality. But were you scared though? With like, oh my gosh, I gotta be somebody's dad now. Yeah, I think every every guy and every female, like when they have a kid, like we're never well equipped to just, you know, that's not a job we know. Right. You know, it's, you just have to kind of learn it as you go. And I think with me, and you know, she teaches me stuff every day, so I like I feel that that's my kind of like. Does she know? That's my happy place. Does she get it though? Does she know like daddy is? You a know, big it, deal. Yo, she. I think she's starting to get it because any she associates music. And dancing with me, mm. so like when a song will come on or whatever, she said, "Daddy, daddy," and then oh, any song, and yeah. And then she, by the way, you're on like seventy five percent of the hit records yeah, right now, so it's, I, I try. <laughs> it's not a crazy thing for her to think yeah, that. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, I take it to like the, the concert. She's been on tour with me, and then I yeah. bring her on stage, have the headphones on. The weird part is that she's not afraid of anything. I'm talking about fearless, fearless, fearless. Really? You know, I, she, I try to give her back to like to my mom when I was performing on stage. She was not having it. She was crying, like, let me back on the stage. Like, she wants in. Yes. You she, think she got it? You think she got that bug, that I, thing? I think she got the bug, but what I don't want to do, I don't want to, because we tend to kind of want our kids to do what we do or follow our path. Yeah. You know, but I want her to, you know, at least love it because she loves it and then make the decision within herself it's what she, she wants to do. She's going to love it. Yeah. She's going to love it. Yeah. And then what do you do Christmas? Your daughter's probably Christmas. This is our first Christmas too, right? Yeah, this is. Do you have her? Wow. Actually, hold on. Do I have a for Christmas? No, I don't have a for oh, Christmas. Boo. I have a for Thanksgiving, though. Okay. See, we rotate uh, holidays, so I'll have <laughs> how, a Christmas how, next how year. How is that going, by the way? How huh? is the co-parenting? How Are you okay? How is no, that? No, it's fine. It's totally fine. You know, Better? I don't, um, you know, both of us have different lives, but my daughter coexists in both lives. Good. You know, so when I have her, I try to be the best dad, and we go do activities, one another constantly learning, you know, and, and having fun. You know, her mom does the same thing, but we don't have to do it together. You know, our relationship was never a relationship, you know. Right. Um, but it's, 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 it's good when two people see eye, eye to eye and have a common goal. Mm -hmm. And that's just the success and the, the, the growth of our daughter. So you guys are good. So you're working yeah. it out. Yeah, we good. Yeah. You have a Thanksgiving. I have a Thanksgiving, yeah. Are you going to overdo it? How does that work? You have a well, chef? You know, what do I'm, you have? I'm a horrible cook, you know. <laughs> Peanut butter, jelly sandwiches, turkey sandwiches. I'm a beast. But you, you have everything. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but but my mom and my aunt they 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 oh, they're gonna to handle cook. that yeah they're gonna take care of the house. All right, Chris, let's talk about first of all. I love this. I told you off the air, but I love the painting you did um, for French for his birthday. I oh, thought yeah, that was so you. dope. Yeah, man. You know, I think you know French has become one of my closest friends. Really? But yeah, because you know, uh, L.A. is funny, man. When you go to L.A., you gotta either be you have to gotta fit in or you gotta you know hang with the gang members or whatever the case is. Right. But with French, he 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 is like. He's just a good person. Like he'll he'll never he'll never tell you something you want to hear or you know what I'm saying. He's, not a, yes he's not a yes <laughs> right, man. Right. He's a real guy. You know what I'm saying. Vice versa. So for his birthday, what can you get somebody that's already rich? Like yeah, and yeah. That, that that's the crazy stuff for me when I have a birthday. I'm like oh man, I don't know what to get you. Don't give me anything, man. Right. Like just give me simple stuff that you know that I I like on an everyday basis. And for and for French, I just knew Chinks was a big part of his life. You know what I'm saying. Even I hung around Chinks, so. I said, man, let me just do a picture, a portrait of him. So just, dope. You know what I'm saying? So now, what'd you do? You brought it up to the party? No, actually, what I did, I kept it. I went to his his actual birthday dinner and his party, and then everybody kind of had the after party at my house. So, oh, I, so I nice. showed, I presented it to him. There. Is that where the party was? It was yeah. at your house. It was a little turn up. Yo, Chris, what happens in your house, and what and what is um what is the security situation in your house? Oh no, the security situation. We've definitely changed a lot of. The reckless behavior that I used to do, yeah. being though my daughter stays there. I'm surprised uh, that you even still have French's party there after everything that happened. Yeah, you know, for me, it's just, if anything is going to happen, it's going to happen. Mm. I can't I can't kind of like walk around in life and just kind of put in the roadblocks to kind of say, okay, I'm not going to do that because I don't want this to happen. Right. I just have to live. So 
But what? So, but wait, what happened? Because two things happened, and I thought, who's in charge of Chris's security? Yeah, it was the girl broke into your house. Yeah, and was that was there... the other house. Yeah, but well, for me, when well, we go out of town sometimes, and you know, before we were careless about the surveillance and the security of right. what's going on in my house, so it really wasn't like it was basically my fault. The girl that came in the house and broke in the house, she was she was like a, a real fan, mm -hmm. but I, honestly, she was mentally ill, so I so I couldn't really like. A disrespect her or go because I because I had to kind of understand where she was coming from, you know. And then from that point, certain people. Wait, what do you mean? So you were there in the in the you were in the house like we had came home and, and she was there. Yeah, yeah, and she and she was in my uh, <laughs> in my master bedroom and she came and my master bedroom goes has a downstairs. So she we were at the bottom of the stairs. She came out with just a towel on naked like. It's, it's and a, who was in the room? Just you? It, it was just me and one of my homeboys. We had just got there. So. Did she scare the shit out of you? What did she? She had I, to. I had to play it off for a minute. I was like, oh, hey, man, what you doing here? Like, <laughs> you had to get your I voice was, deep. Oh, yeah. Hell yeah. I was, I was petrified. I was like, man, what the hell? You know, because she had wrote on my oh cards. Oh, my God. Like, wrote on the counters. I love you. Like, the, the only thing that made me upset was she threw my daughter's stuff outside along with my dog's, like, stuff. Uh. So I'm like, okay, there's something's a little off about this person. So, Clearly. you know, I, I called the police. I ain't even gonna lie. Yeah. Hey, officer, I don't want any other problems. <laughs> because I right. said, and then my homies was like, no, take that off and move. Like I said, man, leave her alone. Wait yeah. for the cops to come because I don't want a case on me right. just because we trying to get her out of my house. Let yeah. the police come get her. But you could tell right away something like Oh, it was off. The, the looking, you see the look in certain people's eyes. not even a glare. It's just, it's just. Oh, my God. Oh my God. That was scared of out of me yeah yeah definitely and i was just i was just happy that nobody got hurt and nobody was there yeah and then what and then you, your house got run up in like my my other house yeah your other house in. but that's that's see and that's this is an example for anybody that you know all oh, these are my homies and this is what it is uh there was definitely somebody around you it, it had to be i'm not gonna say nothing because i really can't point fingers and say who did yeah. it but it had it had to be knowing at the time where i was gonna be and all this yeah. other stuff you cut people off after that yeah i, I cut a couple people off and, and it's just that if if I had to sit down with a lot of my friends, like a group of my friends, and I say, hey, man, everybody has a goal, man. I say, if if y'all my friend and we kicking and we doing all this stuff and y'all want to be around, be, be fly everywhere with me, whatever, everybody's goal is to protect, you know, the the, the you got to protect the bank, basically. Yeah. Like, you got to protect, cool, if this is not the right place to be at, man, we got to get out of here. Ooh. If this is not something that's conducive to the progress in my life, then we have to, I have to, like, we can still be cool, but you can't be around when I'm when I'm trying to better myself. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Did everybody make it? Not everybody made not it. Not everybody that made talk. it. Yeah. yeah, not everybody made it. And then, but that's good though, because you weed out who's there for self and who's there for you. Yeah, you can't just have everybody loose running around. Yeah, not at all. So you did that so the sorry song the sorry song. Yeah. With with uh, Ross, shout out to Rick Ross, and I yeah. saw you wrote something about that. That was the um most personal. Yeah, and it, thing. And it's crazy because I have in my hard drive I have like three to four thousand songs, just songs nobody ever heard. I just always write. Oh, you had that song already? Yeah. So what I did was I had, maybe I want to I want to say before the record came out I, I wrote it maybe six months before, mm. and I remember um, Ross had had did a favor for me on a new flame record, and you know in in music I don't just charge people. Oh, give me this and I will get a record for you. I usually if you give me a favor I give you a favor. So really, there's no money that changes. No, nah, only money that changes is the publishing. Like if I wrote oh. a song, I could still get my. Percentage. Cause Chris, you're on everybody. I feel like every you're like the go the go to guy if somebody needs. Yeah, them. I guess. Yeah, I guess you could say that. I think right. Some people are paying for that. They have to be. Certain certain people. Right. And, that, and that's only based off of relationships. Like if I don't have a personal relationship with you, then it's business. Oh. You know, it has to be business. You know what I'm saying? Especially if, especially for new artists too, because I I I can't. This, I can't desaturate my brand because yes. as soon as, as soon as I get on a record with a new artist. Everybody in the world know who that new artist is, and they'll blow up. And then right. me just doing it out of the love, I I, I won't capitalize on yeah, it. Yeah. I won't be able to feed my family. So, I mean, you know, I, I don't always charge people, but I still make sure that there's an understanding. Yeah. So you did the joint with Ross. So yeah. you had the song. Yeah, I did I did that song, and I, it was just like, it was like one of those records you want to just be honest and you be, be yourself and, and admit it. Like, at the end of the day, I have no problem with admitting my faults and my wrongs. You know what I'm saying? So I think... The only avenue, the best way, even with my new album and everything, is to do it through the talent, the things that got me here. Just everything that happened. Like, mm -hmm. we saw your relationships happen, un unfold, yeah. come out. What have you learned from all of that? Like, what, what do you, where are you with love right now? With love, 
love is eternal. I think. I think there's no condition. Love yeah. is unconditional. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I, with, with anything, with any facet, I think. So if you love somebody, you always love them. Yeah, of course. You still really. You, you still have. A, you still have a I love. I don't know if I buy that, but no, no, I'm no, because because I'm. I explain it to you. Okay. You ever love somebody and get real mad? I'm like, I hate them. Yes. Cool. Well, that's the same exact feeling of love because you're thinking about them just as much. <laughs> right. You know what I'm saying? And, yeah, and, but eventually love can fade away. No, love can fade. Like love can fade as far as the the intimacy and and you wanting to be around that person, but the actual love you should love it anyway because either even if it went bad, it taught you a lesson. Yeah. So, so you know, life is about learning. Poor. Are you gonna do it again? With as far as relationship? Yes. Yeah, I mean, I can't. I, I'm an R&B singer, man. I sing love music, so I have to. <laughs> I have to be able to identify <laughs> with what I'm talking about. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, I think. I, Are you at all times just like looking for love at all? No, you know, I, I let I let my path. Um, <laughs> unconsciously, I just do what what I what I feel in my heart is right. Yeah. So right now, being a good dad, boom, I that's love that. It. But that's becoming it a dad uh-huh. also ended your relationship. Uh huh. So that's like two emotions happening at the same time. Yeah. How do you process all that? How, are you still dealing with that? Yeah, I mean, do you, you still you, feel you go through your days when you when you have regrets or doubts, but those are all feelings. But at the same time, uh, a man or a woman mm-hmm. has to has to actually take action and take responsibility for situations. You no, know, what you I'm did. Saying? Are you doing the right? You know, thing. I might have been born with one leg, but I have to deal with it and adjust in my life. Yeah. with that one leg I have, you know what I'm saying. So, me having a daughter. Regardless if it might shatter a, shatter a relationship in one way, it's teaching me another relationship in another mm. because it's, it's building a different bond and a different respect for love, a different respect for women, different respect for different things. So it's teaching me the process in the process. Do you feel bad about shattering that relationship? Absolutely. You always have. You always like hurting people is not is not a not first nature to be like ha ah, that felt good to do that to somebody. Yeah. Um. You know, you you just have to live and learn. At the end of the day, best luck to the, to her and best of luck to whoever in the past. And you know, only thing I can do is continue to move forward and, and learn how to grow. And sometimes pain is growth. And you have to stay out of the comments. Yeah, but I, but <laughs> I but usually usually I don't like if you look at the last what six months or six yeah six months I haven't been going off the hinder. I might say something, but it's never it's never I'm tired of you. Yeah, yeah. You know, no, but I feel like after the breakup that you guys that you were well, you had the tight the whole thing with Tyson. I yeah, feel like and, it, and th- that was the perception that anytime she posed with somebody or took a picture with somebody, that you would jump there. Yeah, and personally, that was my insecurities. And yeah. I can I, and I can sit here today and say, hey man, I looked at that person even even if it was yesterday, I can sit there and identify with it and understand why I was mad. I wasn't mad at that person. I was mad with myself because of the decisions I had made in my life. Mm-hmm. So once you have to realize that, and I, once I saw that. I said, you know, let me chill out. And at the end of the day, time, time heals everything. So I just feel like I'm gonna just focus on me. My daughter is the number one priority. Yeah. And you know, I just, I, I, I wouldn't regret my daughter for the world. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't take it back. Like she's here, so I love her. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Do you think that that relationship stands a chance? At to, at any point? Um, that's not up to me, honestly. Mm. That's really not up to me. I think, I think, um, my relationship status is like dormant. At the, at the moment <laughs> that doesn't sound pleasant <laughs> no i mean it, it, i mean i don't have to you know have companionship right now to enjoy my life you know what i'm saying i, I enjoy my daughter i enjoy making music i enjoy being able to inspire people so you know there's there's i can't be selfish and want everything yeah. you know I, I can just i can wait it out i can it'll come if god wants me to have it it'll it'll come but other than that i'm, I'm kind of cool but would, but but would you want that you don't or you what don't i know. what i want it mm-hmm. um I don't know what I would want, honestly. I'll be honest. Mm. I, I I I couldn't tell you because it's not it's not a uh, fathomable right now. I, right. Like right now, only thing I want to make sure is my daughter is in good health. Good. I want to make sure she gets the best love and the best learning, everything, you know. And then you know, God God will make time for me later. So our new day is um, the eighteenth, right before Christmas. Yep. Yep. Perfect stocking stuffer. I can't wait. Is it a family album? Kind of, probably not really. Well, well, you know, <laughs> but you know, I think when people saw the album cover, I put the album cover out to make a statement. It wasn't mm. like, oh, cool, give me sympathy because I'm with my daughter. No. My album was more like, cool, I'm 26 years old. The biggest part of my life right now is my daughter. Um, So I'm going to show you the music that I'm creating right now in this time of how I feel as a man, whether you knew my songs from the first album to here. You, you're able to identify with 
whatever I'm going on. Mm. I, and like I said, I'm bad with t- speaking, with going, giving. You are so, not, though. You no, know I'm you're saying not. as far as, you, you know what it is? It's just not with you guys. You, you're like family in certain interviews. But certain, you know, I've been able to, to detect it now and not probably get into the hiccups. But sometimes less is more. I think I don't need to voice my opinion on anything, on anybody's life, on anybody. That's not my job. I'm only supposed to inspire. So when, when people hear my music, they can either be inspired by it or not. But regardless, that's my goal. Me giving a, a lecture about whatever it is and me saying, you guys should do that. You should. Right. That's not my calling. That's not what That's not what I'm good at. If that was the case, I would have been running for president or mayor. But the voice that I do have is through the only thing that can bring the whole world together, and that's music. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Past religion, past everything else, the only thing is music that can bring the world together. So what are the topics? What are you talking about? Are you talking about all this, like... Yeah, I'm talking, like, for me, like, I got, you know, the song Sex You Back to Sleep and, ah, and yes. di- different songs. Uh, obviously, there's a lot of songs about, you know, making love. It's also songs... Don't you that, enjoy that, I'd imagine. Of course. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> but I think... <laughs> That's I th- good for you? It's good it's working out? Okay? Yeah, it's good. It's healthy, man. It's very are healthy. you being safe? Uh, yeah, definitely. Okay. Now. Yeah, now, I, yes, because now there was, there was here, the yeah, one yeah, thing. There was the one time that, super that safe thing now. happened. Now, all the way. Yeah. All the way. <laughs> Might even put two on. I'm not even. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah. Two. Exactly. I'm wearing one right now. Actually. Really? Yeah, you just got to protect yourself. <laughs> Unbelievable. Were you out here living crazy? You know what it was? Were I, you being loose? I was being a, a rebel, man. I just I just didn't care. I felt like my, my personal <laughs> feelings on certain things kind of just like, I didn't care. Like, I just, you know what? F it. If somebody cares, who cares? I'm going to run with the bad boy look. Everybody thinking I'm I'm this mean person, whatever. I kind of ran with it because it was just like I was too insecure and embarrassed to deal with my problems. So, it's, But now it's just like, hey, man, it's a part of living. You know, you got to go through certain pains to grow up. Yeah. Can you do regular stuff, Chris? Can You You can't cook. Can you? But do you do still? Do you have people that just do everything for you? Like laundry and ho- cleaning the house and... Well, you know, Everything. in my house, I'm fortunate enough to actually, you know, hire people that, you have a that, staff, can, a full yeah, staff. that can clean the house. But for me, as far as like everything, I like to do regular stuff, but bowling, movies, skating. Yeah. You know, I, I still keep that that kid part of me, the element of, about me, because that's just something naturally I like and naturally I'm into. And, and you know, because if I try to be too celebrity or like too much of a celebrity, then too I'll stiff. Be, yeah, I'll be bored and, and, and mad with my life that I'm not fully taking on the full potential of, of the blessings that God has given me, you know? So what are you doing? You bowl, you you you, yeah, you do art, paint, of course. Yeah. you paint, mm-hmm. and basketball. That, yeah. You do basketball. basketball. You're okay. Yeah, I'm all right. You're pretty good. I'm cool. Don't you do basketball games at your house with, like, like real basketball players, right? Yeah, we always, you know, I got to, you know, because it's, 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 it gets to the point where you go to, like, a regular gym. Come on, And then man. you play That's basketball. That's not playing fair, though. And, yeah, and then it's like, <laughs> dang, okay, cool. I don't really want to get hurt because they really not playing on the level that we play on. Oh, so. okay. You know? And who plays? You just have... Uh, Kyrie. Like, Kyrie Irving's one of my best friends. Um, got a couple of different people. Uh, DeMar DeRozan. Um, well, usually when they come out to L.A., everybody, hey, man, what's the turn up? Where are we going? Uh, it's like, all right, cool. We can go to the club. But then, we, you know, we'll play basketball. So it's different guys every now and then. So can you play against these professional basketball players? Like, are you... Uh, yeah, I can play. I know you're good, but, like, like next to Kyrie... Yeah, like me and him play one on one. He's the he's, and what he's great though. Like I'm not gonna not gonna hate on him and say no, I'm nice. He's an NBA star. You he's, know? No, excuse me. He's Kyrie Irving. Irving yeah, exactly. <laughs> like, excuse me. We, that you even put yourself even like you're in competing yeah. with him. When we play basketball, when me and him play one on one, I think the school went to eleven. I think I had it was about like eleven to maybe eight. Are you kidding me? Yeah. That is impressive. I mean, like he, but he's he's nice though. So I know if we in a real NBA situation, he's so not playing me Chris Brown, fair. He's like, let's go. Are on. you telling me Chris Brown right now that there are probably NBA players that are, that you are not as good as you? Like, no, are I'm you not telling say not me not as good as me? I'm, sh- I'm not gonna say I'm better than him. I'm just saying could I can, you I can some- run. I can run with him. Run with professional NBA. I can, players. I can run with a couple of them. Really? Yeah. That is impressive. So my side hobby. Mm-hmm. So. Uh, they, they, I would definitely do like a 10 day contract I would try is he that good have you just, guys is I, he that good he's that good I would do a 10 day contract just to get just to get the recognition like how Master P did man I played in the NBA mom wouldn't even 
<laughs> my, my my recognition would totally be totally oh different God. than me actually trying to play for them and yeah, get a championship. He's like really good. I'm doing it for the look. I'm going to make one of them look stupid on camera. And then and I'm going to get a out. jump shot and I'm done. I don't even. <laughs> I did it. I did it. I got a jacket on. I'm good. I you got thought my, about this, actually. Absolutely. This is something that's going to happen. That's how it could happen. You know, hopefully, you know. <laughs> you could, you <laughs> could like, probably at some point invest in a team like some of those other people did. Would yeah, you do that? I, I, yeah, I might do that. You know, it, it just it just depends. Because I, I don't want to invest in a team and then really want to play for it. Because I'm going to be like, no, put me on the squad. <laughs> Better than him. I'll be bad, but it's, <laughs> but it's funny though. <laughs> Are you doing stuff like that? Are you in like investing your money and? and yeah, and... Um, with me, I try to do now. Now it's more so, <laughs> like I love the Magic Johnson approach. I like the fact that he was able to, uh, you know, make a lot of money. Yeah. And then really like, you know, own businesses, but actually help people in in the process. You know, I I just want to be able to, you know, have a great um, form of stability that my daughter will have her own platform to. Be straight. Her kids will have her own. Platform. Well, what would you do? Like a wing stop, like a movie theaters. What Every, would you? Yeah, everything. All invest, of those. Everything that that you like. It's just I think outside of the box. Like you know, I would like to invest in people things that people need on a daily basis. Like what? So you know, like the the light switches. Like right when you touch a light switch, you nobody thinks about that. But imagine how how many light switches they sell. Those little plastic things that turn the light on. That's billion dollar corporations. Nobody thinks about it. I would like no. to get that. The buttons that go in your jeans. I would like to own that. Where do you see yourself like older, like old Chris Brown, like old man Chris Brown? Weird. Really? I eccentric? see myself. Nah, not too eccentric. Not like walking barefoot in the street. Like more <laughs> free, like a chill, a chill kind of cat. Like, all right, man, he, he he's good. He's done everything. So he's kind of chilling. He's all right. That's good. Yeah. That's a good vision for yourself. Yeah. You going to be married? Uh yeah, I don't run away from marriage. Uh, at first I did. I was scared of it. I was like, oh man, I'm never getting married. Really? But you know, I think it's a, it's a time if that right person comes along and I'm in. Think you, someday, mate. Yeah, I think I think I believe in the fairy tales. You do. Mm -hmm. So old man Chris Brown, he'll be weird. He'll be married. Mm -hmm. He'll probably be rich from light switches. Yeah, rich from light switches. He'll have some. <laughs> he'll have played in the NBA. <laughs> he'll have toured the world multiple times. It's a, it's a lot of goals, man. I got a lot of. Are you gonna have mad children? More Mad kids? children. Honestly, I have a daughter, and that is amazing. But I, I, I want, I want one more. I just need one. I just a need boy. a boy. I just need a boy. Yeah, the boy. Yeah, I just need the little brown. That's all. Oh, the TMZ thing that you interrupted. Oh yeah. That you jumped in front of. How, how I kind of like shattered him a little bit. That was pretty good. You know what it is? The thing is, I started had to, I had to start realizing. If you don't know what we're talking about, there was a story. He came on social media and was like, "Listen, tomorrow TMZ is gonna post a story." Yeah. It's a lie. Yeah. I don't ever remember a celebrity doing that. I'm sure it's happened, but yeah, because they 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 actually kind of slipped up, you know, uh, and and they called my my lawyer or, or my PR team and said, "Does Chris want to comment on anything before we drop?" So the you story? knew it was coming. Yeah. So me instead of me having to be, like, even if I have a publicist or whoever it is. I don't have the luxury because of the mistakes I've made to to let them try to deter. Like, oh, it never happened. Uh, 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 sources around Chris Brown said that, right. that nobody believes that. They only believe the actual print that they're reading because I, didn't, I don't have the luxury of saying, no, that's wrong. That's not what happened. Mm -hmm. You know, so when they called my people and they called, uh, you know, my lawyers, they hit me about it. They said they're going to run the story tomorrow. I said, well, cool. They're running a bogus story because they is, I haven't, I've been under the radar. I haven't been trying to be seen doing anything crazy going off on anybody so they need that traffic you know they, they, they don't it's not about me personally i had to realize that it's not about christopher maurice brown personally it's about chris brown how much traffic will we that will bring this site if he does something crazy right or if we saying he's doing something bad because although they might give us a benefit of the doubt people are going to believe us because we're somewhat of a credible source and that and that's where the the, the bs lies because you know um, I could sit there and cry about yellow journalism, or cry about people doing that, but they need that for their traffic. So if I'm saying it before it comes out, people see this, the situation. And like, what was oh, it? They said us. that it was a picture of you with some cups and said you yeah, were addicted was, to lean. Uh, that we were drinking lean at a birthday party at mm -hmm. uh, Tiger's birthday. And I'm like, bro, don't like, don't fade into any of that. I said when Chris Brown was doing lean. And and Xanax and and going crazy. That's when you seen Chris Brown in jail and and knocking dudes out or, mm. or whatever I was doing. That was, that's the guy that you meet. Was that stuff like alcohol and and drug induced? You think those moments? I mean, I think everything is. I'm not, I'm not saying that the drug the drugs just enhance your numbness. Like yeah. 
Like that's all it is. When when you're dealing with something, when, especially when people don't know how to to identify with their feelings or even express them the way that they need to, it, it comes out as anger. It comes out as rage. But um, usually those things are underlining like embarrassment, underlining uh, life, underlining just sadness or or emptiness or depression. So once I had to really get that, get over that hump and realize. How did you learn that? Did you go to therapy or something? No, I mean I had a therapist, but oh. the, the the therapist doesn't help you with your problems. They just listen to you talk and then tell you a guideline that you already know right from wrong. Yeah. So it's not really you but have it to helps kinda, to get it out. No. Yeah, it's venting is great, you know. But but I think personally, within myself, I had to just make a change on certain things that I wasn't going to allow in my life and certain things that I were, were going to allow. You so know. You stop. So you don't mess with that stuff, or uh, no, no. I recreation. mean, it's not. That's not. That's not like kind of my my life and especially with kids like even when i said the new year's resolution i was like man i'm quitting smoking you know? i love that you said that you know because i picked up that habit you know you talk about cigarettes yeah yeah right yeah not weed now i'm like i ain't gonna hate on everybody i still gonna smoke a weed every now and then <laughs> come on now i, I ain't gandhi right now man I'm, you know, <laughs> you're not I'm, to that point I, yet i still need my weed <laughs> but <laughs> okay but at the end of the day i think cigarettes are just such a bad habit and being that i have a daughter i don't want her to be around that and, and then the secondhand yeah. smoke too is yeah, all terrible that, yeah, and, it's, and it's not it's not how it's, long you been smoking cigarettes only only for about a year and change now only because i when we went to rehab i couldn't they're not gonna let you roll up a blunt so right. the only thing they do is let you smoke uh, smoke cigarettes and that's it so i was like cool i just picked this habit up so i so i won't be just trying to do whatever but yeah every habit gradually you have to change so i, I just made it a decision within myself to like try to cut it all cigarettes away. are hard to kick though they say cigarettes is like harder than some you know other things it thing. is it's a willpower though because the actual yeah. statistic of of cigarettes it the the, the uh, not to be addicted uh three days it takes three days really yeah huh i learned this in rehab too though but it take it did not it literally takes three you days you learned a lot in rehab yeah you know it takes three <laughs> days it really takes three days for it to get out your system so have you started yet or you start this january 1st oh no no see i said new year's resolution oh you, okay. you have to have goals now all I'm, right all right I, no cold turkey but so de- we but definitely new year's we I'm i used stopping. to smoke cigarettes back in the day too you know mm-hmm. and i tried like three times to quit and then it took me like my third on my third time i did and then and that was it okay but it didn't happen <laughs> happen in three days maybe for you it'll happen no, no, in three I'm saying days the actual urge like the craving of cigarettes yeah we we get used to certain cravings like i bet you after you eat you gotta have a cigarette at that time at that time this was years ago I yeah mean, you know like what 10, i'm saying so years ago I don't certain know. certain that we just yeah. associate certain Liquid things if i had a drink i wanted to have one that's yeah. what it was yeah you know what i'm saying so certain things you got this though you gotta do it you don't see the commercials with the lungs hanging out and all types yeah. of crazy com- you don't want that. the hole in the throat you're a singer too for crying yeah. come I, on you mm-hmm. gotta do it right you gonna do it of course New Year's resolution. Let's do it. Yeah? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay, yeah. I'm going to be rooting for you, man. I'm with it. And you know TMZ's going to find you if they oh, catch yeah, they you smoking. they can't sm- wait. I thought he said the- he was going to quit. <laughs> it's 100% going to happen. They can't wait. I think I'm going to send him some flowers for the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to be in a better place with all of that. That's good. Yeah, you just got to laugh, man. Life is humorous. Well, I'm glad you're in a good place, baby. And, I, you know, keep doing your thing. I love, um, I can't wait to get the album. December 18th, everybody. Album yes, is in yes. stores. December 18th. It's good to see you, baby. Thank you so much. Thank you. Good seeing you, too. time for Chris Brown. Thank you.